So it's day number three here in Christchurch and I'm starting it here at New Brighton Pier and uh, New Brighton itself is uh, actually a very very nice place, very funky, uh, I like the atmosphere here, a lot of street art, all the murals and nice little cafes. Now I'm here at the beach, uh, the beach itself is very very awesome, unfortunately there's quite a lot of construction going on around, uh, which uh, is of course temporarily so uh, if you're here in a couple of months time I'm sure everything's gonna be finished. I'm not sure if I can get to the pier itself now because today they're gonna be fireworks uh, at night. They wanted to do this for Guy Fawkes uh, night but uh, they decided to change the date so of course they're doing preparation. I'll try to ask them uh, if I can get uh, over there but if not Okay, that's bad luck, I guess. So, unfortunately, the pier is closed. Yes, as I expected, so I can't actually walk over there. But even from here, from the beach, it looks absolutely spectacular. So, uh, I guess this is uh, something for the next time here in Christchurch. So we can experience this pier uh, at its fullest. Now, I'm going to the next place. So I'm taking a ride on a gondola uh, here in Christchurch and uh, you can book it online. It costs $30 per adult or uh, you can come here and book from here. Uh, I guess um, yeah, there is no shortage of uh, tickets from the office. The ride is uh, just amazing. I mean the views are super incredible. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna be much better from the very top. But even from here, from this little cabin, um, it's um, actually absolutely great. You can see the Christ Church behind my back and uh, some of the uh, hills and mountains uh, here in front. Uh, so it's a very uh, nice and safe uh, experience and I guess this gondola is probably one of the smoothiest I've ever uh, had a ride in. So when you're up on the top of the gondola ride, uh, there is a lot of options. So you can firstly do the tunnel ride, which is interactive experience about 5-7 minutes long. And it takes you through the history of the region. Another thing you can do is of course have a lunch or just have a coffee uh, at the observation desk. There is a cafe over there. And there is a variety of uh, tracks, walking tracks here at the top. So you can either use the gondola or you can walk from the city. Uh, it, there is a huge walk that takes, I don't know, 16 kilometers, but I'm definitely not doing that. So I just decided to do approximately two hour uh, return track, which will take me to the summit of the other mountain and then I'll probably see some of the World War II um, battery remainings uh, but at the moment it's quite windy here I hope I can you know cope with that I'm wearing a very warm jacket but I don't know it's, it's actually freezing cold here but let's go there is that pier New Brighton been this morning. So I've reached uh, my destination. It was, uh, as promised, around one hour 
um, a walk to here. Uh, I'm at the very top of the Mount Pleasant and so uh, here was the um, World War II anti-aircraft battery. Uh, so now here is just uh, remains of what was here. So there are one, two, three, four, five uh, kind of pedestals uh, for uh, all the guns. Uh, there is nothing particularly exciting here uh, anymore. Uh, so it's more like a heritage site, so there is no historical facts um, uh, placed here or whatever, so I can't really tell you anything about it. Still, it's very very nice over here, it's a little bit windy, but uh, the views are stunning and if you have more time and more energy, you can even walk further, but I'll probably go back because I still have a couple of things to do today. On the other side from the gondola station uh, there are more tracks for you to explore if you uh, have some energy left. Um, some of them are much shorter so I guess the, these are the most popular tracks uh, because they suit uh, almost all uh, kinds of tourists, uh, tourists with kids. First one is 15 minutes, uh, it takes you to the lookout and then uh, the other one is 25 minutes one way. So I'm done with uh, both walks I guess there is uh, actually nothing you know super different from what you can see from the up top of the um, gondola station so I would say if you've already done uh, the longer uh, loop don't really waste time on doing that unless you really want to walk for another hour so it was absolutely amazing to spend some time here at the gondola. Absolutely incredible experience, lovely views, uh, a lot of walking tracks, nice cafe with uh, buffet food and also you can uh, order from the menu. Uh, nice coffee as well. So basically everything you need to spend a great day here in Christchurch. Uh, I would definitely recommend doing that if you have uh, at least half of the day or um, the full day. I'm now uh, getting back to the bottom of the gondola and I'll probably go to Sumner Beach. Let's see if I can get there uh, in time because uh, I need to finish a little bit early today because I have one of the filmings that I'm doing for my client today. So um, yeah, let's see if we can uh, quickly track there. So I am now at Sumner Beach. Uh, this place is amazing. It's, uh, as I heard, it's one of the most popular uh, kind of beach destinations for Christchurch locals. So um, yeah, it was definitely on my list to check out. It's nice and chill here. Uh, it's not a lot of people. I mean, it's still off uh, the peak season. Um, but I'm sure in summer this place goes absolutely crazy. And this building behind my back, you can't find it on any tourist guide anymore. This is the Cathedral of the Blessed Sacrament, built in 1905. It was severely damaged by the earthquake in 2010 and 2011. And as far as I know, this building is going to be demolished very, very soon. So in August 2019, Christchurch Council decided that they're not going to rebuild uh, this building here. They're gonna demolish it, probably they're gonna start over, I'm not sure about that, but probably this is the last chance for me or for any of you who can be here in Christchurch anytime soon to see this incredible building. I haven't seen it before the earthquake unfortunately, but it looks like a very, very uh, amazing cathedral. Unfortunately, there is nothing like that here in Christchurch anymore, it's such a loss. Uh, but 
it is what it is and uh, of course I, because I've had the chance to uh, you know see it before it uh, is gonna be demolished uh, I couldn't miss that chance of course so here I am tomorrow I'm going to Akaroa and my visit to Akaroa is actually another video so if you want to see that one just make sure to click on the pop-up banner over there I'll have one more day after that in uh, Christchurch I'll see you then guys mm -hmm.